Okay, uh, we're going to start a paladin. His name is going to be Pius. Oh yeah, Matt Spick is back with us, Cal. I was ple very pleased to say. Okay, so here we go. Dual Leech, Hand of Brock, and 10%, and 20 to mana. Well, there's his first unique, people. You need to get another level, we're awfully close to it. I don't know if that's going to do anything for us, but there's another unique. Stout Nail. No, this should be it, if we can just get her back. The sisterhood welcomes you. Now if we just bolt through there and shut the door. Right, now we may have it. The point is we just get to stay there. There we go. Throw. No, I won't stay away. Now do we have enough javelins? You can see the life steal. You don't need much more. There we go. Level 16. Filling Shrine will have. How far away is he? Oh, he's got to be on the next level. Oh, oh, we just got the Osiris Belt. Got to be Osiris. Didn't even see it fall. Ah, couldn't get there fast enough. Jeez. Oh, there's the Osiris Belt. Geez, exactly what happened with Merida. Well, yeah, we get the bonus, that's right, we get this big bonus to attack rating. Okay, well that's made me feel a little bit better. Oh, Rick's, it's keen. I, this thing wears out dreadfully quickly, but 9 to 14, 10 to 16, but 25 crushing blow. We're gonna not outrageously rare, but it's not it's not a bad drop either. Hey, an L rune. Got one. Ith L Ith. I'll put that to good use. Let's have a look at that circlet though. The circlet. This one's got hit recovery, self repairing. 18 magic find though. And a socket. Ah, uh, let's have a look at that splint mail. That may be too much strength. No, we can use that. Well, there's our better version of stealth. I think we're going to undergo a run walk penalty here. Oh, a unique ring. What are we thinking, people? Mantled heel or nasal ring? What would be most useful? Though arguably, if it was a good nasal ring, we can we could drop that one and put that in its place. Even some mana man steel off a mantled heel wouldn't go astray. Okay, unique ring is fifteen seventy five. That's maximum attack rating, isn't it, for a nasal ring? Okay, it will have to take the place of that one. Not giving up the life steal on the fifteen. I think is bottom, and that is bottom uh, magic find, though, isn't it? All right, here we go. Oh, the sword's worn out. We're very close to it. Uh, Ooh, done. We're going to create a magic find helm here. We're going to upgrade that and then we're going to put it in that helm. 
Uh, we haven't. Oh, that's where I get caught. Is doing that right? That's the only gem there. Right, and we will do that. So there's a 42 magic find helm. Now we've just bumped up our lightning resistance with that amulet. So if we swap those over. Uh, it's not superb, but we can always go back to the other helm. Let's uh, run with that circlet for the moment. Okay. We might get a perfect ruby here. I can see the rune. An L rune. I would have preferred an L. Let's go back and get our magic fine helm. Right, we've got our ma magic fine maximised. Mm. Demon hide sash. We've got a pretty good belt though. Ten at minute cold resistance thirty. Oh, that's a four level belt. I don't think well, I don't want to forgo the set bonus though. That'd be an extra ten cold resistance. Oh, Vidal's fetlock. Ah, uh, no, I still want that attack rating bonus. Another shield. Heraldic shield. We'll have a look at in a moment. We've got nothing. We've actually dropped about, I'd say, four or five heraldic shields, but we've yet to get one that's got resistances. Now, what, I don't know what's best here, whether it's two, but we can do something either two, three, or four. If we get one, I'm going to be unhappy. We get four. All right, now here we go. All resistances 71. We'll keep our two heraldic shields because what we can do with the other one. Is go Shaleth. Oh, there's another <laughs> relic shield. Oh, this better not be better than the one we've got. Or resistance is 15. Oh, oh, actually, that might not be. That's the general's flail. Hang on, hang on. Let's have a look at this thing though. 3798, 17 to 199. So this has a lot more damage, 20 attack speed, but it's on a fairly slow base. Put that in there. And now I suppose we look for more diamonds. Oh, the Peasant Crown War Hat, people. There's plus one to skills and I think run walk speed. Instead of water energy. No, we're going to ditch that one and go with the peasant crown even though it's got no resistances but yeah there's the level all right let's see where we go right what do we get there do we do with 19 skill points for the um, no we've got the magic fine gear on we're in a nightmare level game here but I'll show you the, what the gear he had at the end of normal level weapon was the general's flail wondering what we're doing at level 52 somewhere in nightmare level it's just that the weapon was much better than I thought it would be having kept thrown the thing away countless times the weapon was good enough to run Pindleskin in players 8 mode and hit level 50 that way the same magic find helm that I created during the normal level video stealth splint mail a 22 magic find amulet which I think was found early in nightmare level that all 90 resists heraldic shield and we are currently saving up diamonds for a better version. 
the usual combination of the Hasara's belt and boots and their big boost to attack rating. Merida found the same thing. The Nagel ring from normal level, maximum attack rating, minimum magic find. That ring for level 10 I consider that to be surprisingly good with 4% uh, lifesteal and 14 magic find. The hand of Brock gloves and the charms of that one for mana and lightning damage, lightning resistance, cold resistance, cold damage, fire resistance. And you can see even though we're in nightmare level the only resistance we don't have maximized is lightning and if we wish we can put on either of those two amulets and get lightning resistance up to maximum. That amulet dropped from one of the set tests from Bale. On switch, a surprisingly useful weapon that was used up until the general's flail dropped and were able to get past Diablo using a, a steel crystal sword. Millibrig's orb I think we found in Nightmare Love, that's purely there just to fill up the spot. Wahid the mercenary now has the peasant crown war hat that was found from Pindleskin, the same malice pike and that armour and it's the armour in particular that needs an upgrade. The intention was to run as a smiter but I've only put two hard points into smite. I have zeal up to level 8, holy shield up to level 10, we may get as far as conviction and vengeance, fanaticism up to level 8 and defensive auras we've really only gone as far as redemption to recover life and mana and we have 16 skill points left over, 75 stat points I'm still baffled as to what to do with them.